Our ancestors have destroyed the world as we know it. No peace, no food, no fertile soil, and that's the end of the world, isn't it? Or is it? Hello friends and guests, Wolfman here. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, we're going to be playing a bit of a game called Endzone. Um, it's still fairly new. Um, it's a game that's out on Steam. It's still in early access, but the link for the game will be in the description if you want to check it out. But until that time, let's get straight into the game. Well, Endzone, what's it all about? You play games like um, perhaps Survive in the Aftermath. Similar way to that is. Um, but without spoiling it, I'll get straight into it so you can check it out for yourself. I'll start a new game now. Um, I can play free mode for survival but I'll put the tutorial on for you guys so you got a basic knowledge of what you need to do remember guys if you like the game click like and share it will help the channel a lot information you can look at our survival guide at any time yeah that's just given us the tasks we need to do well done everything you need to know should be right here I think the time has come for us to at last build ourselves a new home here before we can construct buildings at all, we have to assign the profession builder to several settlers so that they can take care of construction contracts. In general, it's your responsibility to decide which tasks are important and how our settlers are supposed to be distributed to attend to them. So let's give them some jobs. As you can see on the screen on the top left, we have to assign Three builders. There we are. Your builders will be ready as soon as construction contracts have been issued. It's time to start focusing on our key and most basic need, water. The first thing we ought to do is to establish a working water supply. So we'll move on to our first construction contract. Place and build a jetty by a lake in the vicinity of your town center. This looks good enough. We need to build a jetty. Turn that round. Let's have a look. Now, as you can see, our builders working their way over to there. And they'll build the yeti. Not the yeti. It's not snowing. <laughs> the jetty. <laughs> I 
and I'd like to thank you guys for joining us here. You're the best. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you never miss a single video. Remember guys, if you want to see a certain game on the channel, let me know in the comments. Right, let's we'll speed and we speed it up a little bit. There we go. Very good. The jetty was completed as planned. Now we have a place where we can collect water. There are other possibilities to gather water too, but the jetty is the simplest and most cost-effective method. We can obtain and store water from different sources, like a jetty, rain collector, or well in the cistern. The cistern should always be in close proximity to a water source, so that our water carriers don't have to walk too far. So, let's see. I think now we need to build a cistern. Let's build it close. To the jetty. Here they go, building again. And we also need to assign, let's see, water carriers, three of them. And as soon as the system's built, the water collectors will go from the jetty to fill that up. And as you can see, there they go. hut now so that will come on the third and fishing hut now we need two people working on fishing soon as that yep we're built we'll get them fishing Excellent way of getting food. 
because they constantly grow as long as the soil is moist enough. Each seed has different yields and growing times. This means that it could take some time until your field is ready to be harvested. In contrast to your fishing hut, where production can be right away. Okay, that's telling us the soil. Cultivate some fields. Looks like it's there, but let's let's put it over here just just for a laugh. There we go. That looks good enough. We need to assign one farmer. Keep it on the basics for these. Ah, oh, well, we'll get that. Remember that we need the widest variety of food sources to stay healthy. You should also plan ahead for drought periods that might come when it's not going to rain. Stock up on food and adapt your production to avoid bottlenecks. I'll show you a few more strategies later on. At the beginning, we don't have much scrap, wood, or other resources. We could build a production building, but to obtain resources as fast as possible, it's best that we start gathering right away. Assign a gather all resources task. All the settlers who haven't been assigned any profession by you are going to accept these kinds of tasks. In addition, settlers distribute resources within your settlement. Okay. Let's gather some wood first. That looks good enough there. And the scrap. Let's have a look. That will do. And off they go to gather. Forester's Lodge, let's have that put over the, there. 
reasonably close to the settlement. Uh, what do we want? For one forester. have to wait for the trees well trees to be cut down so we can get the wood yeah the woods coming in nicely now Good job. You might want to change thank you Okay, what do we want now? A scrapyard. Can we build that? Just about there should do us. And we want. So one scrap collector. for that building to get built and let's have another task done As you can see guys, there's lots of tasks you can do in the game. Um, we're going slowly today, it is going through the tutorial, that's why. Um, but so you can learn it, same as everyone. There we go, our scrapyard's being built now. I think that might be a good idea. Our people want a place to sleep and live. Cabins fulfill their need for safety and privacy and increase the confidence of their inhabitants. In other words, building cabins increases their willingness to start families and uh, reproduce, if you know what I mean. I do exactly, sir. So. So, by the look of that, we have to build eight cabins. Okay. Uh, what do we want? Housing.
Yeah. So uh, cabins queued up. Oh, and our fields have been growing nicely. And we've got water there. Food going through to there, the fishing hut. We've got the houses being built, well, the cabins being built now. For the last one. Besides cabins, you could also provide sturdy houses and shelters as housing. Sturdy houses withstand sandstorms better and have an increased storage capacity to boot. Children living in houses gradually fill up the house's stockpiles. Settlers do not reproduce in a shelter because they lack privacy. Let's return from our excursion into housing and refocus on scrap. With the help of a recycler or refinery, scrap can be sorted into four different resources. A recycler always takes scrap apart, one resource at a time, while a refinery automatically produces all four resources. To start off, you should build a recycler and produce cloth. Yes, we'll do that, sir. On the next episode, or oh, getting good the game now. Um, but remember, if you haven't done already, click that subscribe button and make sure you, you also tap that bell notification so you never miss a video. Also, like and share. And until next time, happy gaming, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video.